Hello and welcome to Creating 2D Games in Unity 4.5. My name is Nelson LeKay, and with me is Mr. Stephen Curtis. How's it going? Pretty good, man. I hope everybody's doing great out there. Sweet. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating... Well, the title says it all, really. We're going to be creating a 2D game in Unity 4.5. And when I say we're going to be creating a game, we are going to be creating a game. Yeah, so, not a collection of this and that, an actual functioning game. Exactly. And most importantly, what I wanted to emphasize throughout this series is not only talking about Unity's new 2D features, like its, uh, its new sp uh, ability with sprites, its awesome animator, and all that fun stuff, but I really wanted to create a kind of, not a game framework, but I wanted to show you guys how you could take as much advantage as possible of Unity's features such as prefabs in order to create, a, well, a collection of reusable components that you can construct levels out of. So yeah, we're really excited to show you guys how to do that. Um, we're going to be going over a lot of stuff. Uh, we. We write our own custom 2D character controller, uh, we do a bunch of animations, we create uh, moving platforms, we deal with some levels of uh, custom physics, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. Yeah, I, if, if you're at all familiar with Unity, uh, you're going to feel pretty good about what we're doing here. If you're new to it, you're probably going to be able to follow along with a little struggle, but... I'm working with Nelson, who is a coder extraordinaire, so you're going to have to know C Sharp. <laughs> yeah, if we wanted to uh, add an introduction to C Sharp into this course, it would not have ended. So, um, we definitely assume that there, you have some proficiency writing code in C Sharp. Now, I don't mean that you have to be great at C Sharp. I don't mean that C Sharp has to be your first language and you've been working it with it for a couple of years. But you need to understand the syntax. Because although <laughs> we explain a lot about Unity and how to work with it, we do not explain the individual bits of, okay, what's a class? You know, um, what's a method? How do you create this and that in, as far as C Sharp goes? Instead, we're going to show you guys an application of C Sharp, how we can use C Sharp in order to extend to Unity and create a fully functional game out of it. So, but you know what the beautiful thing is, Nelson? What's the beautiful thing, Steve? If you don't know anything about either one, not only do you have this free course, but you can come on over to our site at 3dbuzz.com and we have a full free introduction to Unity and a full free introduction to C Sharp. So if you are really at square one, we've still got you covered. You're just going to have to do a couple other courses first. Yeah, and um, those uh, those courses, they're uh, great resources for people who are completely new and will get you guys up to speed enough in order to follow along. Again, like I said, we're not going to be doing advanced C Sharp, um, but we will be using it, and I'm not going to be explaining what a for loop is. So that's basically how it is. That's why I usually don't know what's going on, because I'm just an artist. <laughs> well, speaking of um, Steven being an artist, all the artwork that he provided for the game, um, he actually has a free series on creating that artwork that's designed specifically for programmers. I feel kind of bad for not making a programming course specifically designed for artists. But... <laughs> <laughs> ah, my evil plan comes to fruition. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Not only... Do uh, many programmers out there not have any experience with creating art? But they probably don't have the tool set that artists have either. You may not have a tablet to work with. You may not have shelled out for Photoshop. Um, I did do the course in Photoshop, but there's nothing that you're going to do in it that you can't do in GIMP. And I was careful to use only a mouse the entire time I made it. So I'll show you how we did all of the artwork for this entirely procedurally. Sweet. So in addition to that, um, if you guys are, if you guys enjoy this course and um, kind of like the pace that we go through things, um, definitely head on over to 3D Buzz and check out our MMO series. Now that's a series that you can learn more about by clicking the link in the description here. But um, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Uh, we're putting together an MMO. We are a small team. So what we're doing is, is we're tack tackling individual problems and recording our progress as we solve those problems. We have over 100 hours available right now that go over everything from <laughs> writing your own language parser to um, 
building an auto updater for your game to writing a custom terrain system as well as procedural generation of that so yeah definitely go ahead and check that out if you guys uh, if you guys kind of like the the pace and the way that we approach our, our training absolutely and if you um, are interested in the art side we have weekly live um, art classes for the MMO where they're done more as a roundtable team setting rather than actually just spewing knowledge at you and there's a lot of back and forth and it's a great opportunity to learn from other people indeed all right guys so uh, Steve unless there's anything else uh, that you want to add well we got a long ways to go I think we better dig in Alrighty, I do want to point out one thing though. I just realized this course requires Unity 4.5. It will work oh, in this. Yes. yes, it does. But I will point out it will work in the standard edition, the standard free edition, and that's the edition that we'll be using for this course. But get 3 or 4.5. The reason is is 4.5 recently fixed some bugs with earlier versions of Unity. Um, that apply specifically to some of the stuff that we're doing. So if some things aren't working out right, you might not have the latest edition or the latest version of Unity. In addition, but at least it's an easy fix. In yeah, indeed. Um, in addition, I will point out one more thing, and that's a question that some of you guys who are familiar with Unity might be asking: is why are we re releasing something before 4.6? And 4.6, as most of you guys know, is going to include a revamped GUI system. Well, fear not. Most of the uh, the the I tried to stay away from using. Uh, GUI stuff as much as possible with this course because that stuff will be outdated. That being said, just because we're not using the new GUI system doesn't mean the concepts of everything else, where everything else constitutes 99% of the content, is going to be still valid after Unity 4.6 drops. Absolutely. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do, and I hope you guys enjoy this course and learn a lot. All right, take care, everyone, and enjoy.